mountain biking is at a really interesting state right now. Um, it, uh, and this coincides with, or this parallels the, the overarching goal from the very beginning of the Whiskey Off-Roads development. Um, about 80 years ago, when we became a little bit more ambitious, added the pro category, the cash purse, the music, adding it, making it into three days from one day. Um, all those things were driven by the hunch that this sport was cyclical and it was about to start seeing uh, a lot of activity. A lot of the, the pieces of the puzzle were in place back then and they were in their infancy. And it was if, if, if all the pieces mature, if they really develop, then the opportunity is huge. And, and now, as the community of Prescott knows, because um, high school mountain biking is really taking off. They're in 19 states. Uh, their goal is to be coast to coast by 2020, and they're ahead of their goal. Uh, their growth last year alone was like 60%. And, and it wasn't like they, they grew from 5 to 10 people. They, they're knocking on 10,000 riders in high schools throughout the country. Uh, the future of the Whiskey Off-Road looks good. Uh, we've, as I mentioned, we've made a lot of changes this year. Uh, I think that the near future is about dialing in those changes. That's what we've, uh, how we've always approached this. Uh, we, we make a big move. We had a pro category and two stages of pro racing, or we had concerts, or you know, if you look back at the last you know, seven, eight years of development that we've put into this, we usually um, add a component uh, or two and then dial it in as a, as a collective. Um, this event takes a tremendous amount of cooperation, uh, a tremendous amount of community to make it happen. Uh, the city, the county, the Forest Service, Department of Transportation, legitimately the community of Prescott, everyone that lives here welcoming us back year after year, uh, letting us close down roads, being inconvenienced if they have nothing to do with the event, but being inconvenienced and being understanding, or if, they, if they're not mountain bikers, but coming down and enjoying it, um, it takes a lot. And so a good next, you know, near future next step is to dial in the changes that we were making this year. Um, it's always opportunities to improve, and we'll see that you know, as we get through this, this year's event. And then, um, and then play it out from there. We've received some really high compliments from some really successful pro mountain bikers that have raced all over the world, literally have some of the biggest accomplishments you could ever have on a mountain bike. And, and they say really nice things about the Whiskey Off-Road and about Prescott as a community, which is really cool. I mean, it's, you know, that's always a good feeling, you know? It's a lot of work to make these things happen. And uh, for everybody, you know, not just the, us in Tucson that are, you know, working night and day, but everybody, even you guys, to make everybody aware of everything that's going on event weekend, you know. It's neat to, to hear these compliments from people that have a real, uh, you know, deep uh, quiver of experience, you know. So the future for the Whiskey Off-Road also applies to the future of the series. And you know, the, the grandiose ambition has always been that we would change mountain biking forever uh, with this series, make it the best in the world, so that if you want to be the best mountain biker in the world, um, or if you're curious about mountain biking, this is the place to come and find out about it and see if you've got what it takes. And um, things continue to go in the right direction, so you know, as the series evolves, the Whiskey Off-Road in Prescott, Arizona is going to evolve too a little bit.